Hey guys, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks for what to do if Lenny or another drummer is not there. This is this might honestly be a worst case scenario for some of you, but in all honesty, the chances of this happening on a Sunday are very rare. This would more than likely happen on a Saturday vigil mass, so be aware of that. But first of all, number one tip. I know I said in the first video, the number one tip is to pay attention to Lenny. If Lenny is not there, you need to watch your speed with the choir. What I typically do is I let the choir start singing and then I cop in. So if the choir starts to sing, I let them do like maybe a line or two. When I get their speed down, I start tapping my foot. <laughs> and again, if that's too difficult for you, don't worry about it. But once you can kind of feel the speed that the choir is going, that's when you hop in. You do not want to create a speed for them if Lenny is not there. Like I said before, we are the metronome to the choir. And if Lenny is not there, that is taking out part of that metronome. So we dictate the speed. So you never want to start unless you know the song and are confident. So I have been sharing all the main parts of the mass. I'm sure you all are probably comfortable, hopefully by now, with those speeds. So I'm not super concerned about those songs. This is more on the songs that we have not gone over, um, just throughout other parts of the mass. So that was my first tip. My second tip, play simple beats unless you feel com confident playing more advanced beats. Like I said before, you know, Saturday night mass, I typically don't have a drummer. Um, it's a great way to practice uh, since you're on your own. Um, when you do that, you know, the drums are very exposed. Um, also because there's just not as many people there, so uh, be aware of that. But, you know, play the simple beats. Play what you know, play what you're comfortable with. If you try to do an advanced beat and you aren't really sure, I would not recommend doing that on a Saturday Night Mass unless you have practiced a lot. It will help the choir out a lot, you know. Again, we don't want to be the speed for them. So practice and just play the simple beats. My last tip is to, again, pay attention to the choir. But also, you know, find confidence in yourself. You know, they enjoy having drummers there. And in all honesty, I think it sounds really cool when it's just the drum and the choir. It has a very fun acoustic sound. So, you know, have confidence. Say to yourself, you can do this. You know, you might mess up and that's that's okay. You know, everyone's going to mess up. I've messed up a lot of times. Trust me. So it's okay to mess up. Don't get hard hard on yourself. This is really good though. If you do mess up, <laughs> do not stop playing unless you are super off beat and you need to get back to the beat or get try to find the beat that they are in. So important because if you're the only one and you stop playing, it could throw the whole choir off in a lot worse ways than if you were to continue to play. So kind of be aware of that. Or if you need to, what I also will do, instead of completely um, stopping the drums, I will just lower my volume. So if I'm unsure of the B, I'll play very soft. Honestly, in some songs, if I feel like it's like a slow song or, you know, the response Oriole song, I sometimes don't even play during that just because, you know, Lenny sometimes isn't actually playing that on Sundays either. So sometimes, you know, it is nice. You don't have to play for every song. So be aware of that. But <laughs> those are all my tips. Um, you know, if you have any questions about that or if you want to try to play on a Saturday and you're scared and... You're just like, you know, I love to play, I want to practice, but I need help. Feel free to message me. Um, it is very easy. It's fun. Um, I hope this maybe gave you some confidence. But anyways, hope you all have a great rest of your week. And that's all I got for you all. Thanks, guys.